to keep it up with Kiana if you're new here to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, I decided to go ahead and do a quick life update with you guys. Um, I know, of course, that I've been doing like vlogs and stuff, so you guys have seen the um, announcements about like me getting engaged, you've seen us move to LA, but I haven't really kind of like sat down and kind of like explained these things to you or like y'all obviously have been like watching the vlogs and stuff, but like y'all probably don't know why we moved, etc. So I kind of just want to go ahead and take this time out to sit down and give you guys some cool life updates. Um, I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of do like a get ready with me. I am currently getting ready to go to breakfast. Uh, we have a friend in town, so we're going to go grab a bite to eat with her. And I was like, okay, like maybe this might be cool to go ahead and kind of like record, um, you know, a video of me like kind of getting ready versus just kind of like sitting down and just, you know, talking at the camera. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so here I am recording the video. Um, so quick disclaimer, like, by no means am I like a makeup artist, barely know how to do my own makeup, so it will look a little rough, that's why. <laughs> but I definitely wanted to just go ahead and kind of like allow y'all to get ready with me and then talk about like some fun life updates. So first and foremost, like let's talk about my YouTube channel. Like as y'all can see, it is slowly but surely growing. I am currently at the time that I'm recording this, I'm at 800 subscribers, which I'm super excited. So grateful for it. Thank y'all so much for everyone that has subscribed, that has commented, that has liked, that has watched my video. Thank y'all so much. Really appreciate it. I literally remember when I first started my channel and I was probably like my only subscriber <laughs> at the time, like me and my family. So to go from like zero now to having like 800 subscribers, I'm like, wow, like this is great. It's a little scary because I'm like, wow, 800 people actually watch my video. <laughs> But at the same time, like, I'm extremely grateful for everybody that has subscribed. If you are watching this right now and you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to insert it again down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. But for those of you guys that, like, don't create content on YouTube, you only need 1,000 subscribers and I think 400,000 watch hours to be eligible to be monetized and start making money on YouTube. So as y'all see, I'm at 800. So I only need 200 more subscribers. And then as far as like my um, watch hours, I believe I'm pretty much there. If I'm not mistaken, I just need like more people to um, subscribe. Like I think I have more people that like watch my videos versus like actually subscribing. So again, y'all, subscribe. <laughs> I wanted to do like, um, like a road to like 1K, maybe like a giveaway or something. I don't know if you guys have ideas definitely drop that down below in the comments to kind of like help me figure out something fun to do for like you know this process of trying to reach a thousand subscribers or maybe when I get to a thousand subscribers do a giveaway I don't know but y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think I should do but yeah y'all we are growing on this channel and I literally appreciate each and every one of y'all for watching and subscribing but yeah definitely um looking to be more consistent here in the future um, I've really been trying to like really force myself to like post once a week and just really be consistent on um, you know like posting great content for you guys. I'm hoping to get my camera fixed here pretty soon. But in the meantime, I was like, you know what? I still have a phone. I can still record. Let me go ahead and push out this video. You know, the quality might be a little different, but the content is going to be great. But anyway, yeah, that was one of the first, um, I guess, like brief life updates that I wanted to go ahead and address is y'all. I also want to encourage you guys to like comment down below, you know, like interact with me. Like I enjoy hearing back from you guys or I enjoy you know, answering you all's questions or hearing how much you guys enjoyed watching my video. Oh, I don't know if I want to comment. Comment. Leave that comment below. Like, reach out to me. Like, I'm a pretty friendly person, you know? Like, I want to talk to you guys. So, yeah, I definitely appreciate that engagement from you all. And I encourage y'all to continue to engage. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I guess this is the part where I probably start to do my makeup <laughs> and, like, the get ready with me part. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, the um, first thing that I wanted to update you guys with is, hmm, let's go with, like, wedding planning and stuff. Because I've had a lot of people asking, like, how is that going? What is that looking like? So, as you guys know, or if you don't know, go ahead and watch my venue tour uh, video. So we officially have uh, booked our venue and we have a wedding day, which we actually kind of had that um, solidified kind of before we moved um, here to Atlanta. I mean, here to LA. Like that was one of my like main things that I wanted to make sure we had in place was, um, you know, make sure that we had like a venue before we moved here to LA because obviously it's kind of hard to tour a venue if you're no longer in Atlanta, you know. 
So anyway, um, we have a venue, which is great. Um, we have a wedding date, which is great. Um, we also have a wedding planner, which is another great um, aspect because obviously like we knew um, that we were going to be moving to LA and obviously like with us not being in Atlanta, we aren't going to be able to be like as hands on. But yeah, so we have a wedding planner, which has been great. Um, she's been a major help so far and really helping us kind of like stay on track and everything. We'll be taking our um, like engagement photos and everything soon. Uh, we kind of wanted to like kind of take like a small break just because it was so many different transitions going on like with us moving, with us getting married, like it was just a lot y'all. Like we were trying to pack up the house and tour venues at the same time. So <laughs> once we like were able to get here to LA, unpack and kind of like get things settled, it was like okay let's breathe for a little bit and then let's like dive back into like wedding planning and stuff. So that's exactly what we did. So of course I'll go ahead and bring you guys along with that journey and probably record like some behind the scenes and stuff. So exciting stuff um, that's coming up. Definitely planning on looking at wedding dresses soon. I'll definitely be taking you guys on that journey as well. So lots of fun like wedding content coming up soon. So now that we have wedding stuff out the way, we have done YouTube. Let's talk about our move here to LA. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering like, okay, why did you guys move to LA? <laughs> um, so we actually ended up moving to LA um, because Eli ended up getting a job that required him to uh, relocate. So we actually found out that we were going to be moving, I believe it was like sometime in October. It was definitely after my birthday, so probably like late October. So yeah, <laughs> pretty much a couple of months. We found out that we were going to be uh, moving to LA. Um, and I know for me personally, I was like very excited to kind of like dive into like this new chapter. Um, it was definitely like very unexpected. Like we weren't, you know, planning to like move. Uh, we love Atlanta. Um, you know, we're very like comfortable there. Like we have friends and family there. Like there was absolutely nothing wrong with Atlanta. So that is not why we moved. Uh, but yeah, we just moved here pretty much for like more opportunity. Like I said, Eli got a job. We found out um, in October that we were going to have to relocate. So, of course, you know, with that, um, the only time that I had ever been to L.A. was when I came here for my 25th birthday. And that was my first time visiting. So, of course, we kind of wanted to, like, plan a trip um, just to kind of, like, look at apartments and stuff. Because, obviously, like, when you're vacationing somewhere, you're not really thinking about, like, oh, where would I live, you know, if I lived here? <laughs> like, you're kind of just enjoying the city and, like, vacationing, you know? Um, so, like I said, for me personally, I was, like, very excited to, um, you know, move to L.A. and, like, kind of have, like, this new transition. Like, I was like, if I have to leave Atlanta, because I absolutely love Atlanta, still love Atlanta to this day, but I'm like, if I have to, like, leave Atlanta, like, the only place that I would go is L.A. So, <laughs> that definitely worked out. And then, honestly, y'all, like, we were just very, like, comfortable in Atlanta, you know? Like, moving to L.A., like, it's way more expensive. <laughs> so that was definitely kind of, like, a concern. It's a further flight from, like, family and stuff. Um, you know, we were going to be into a different time zone. Like, it was just a lot of transitions or, like, it was a lot of things that came with, um, you know, moving to L.A. So at first, like, yes, I'm very excited. But, of course, kind of having those things in the back of our heads, like, we're also, like, very nervous as well. Like, oh, my goodness. Like, we don't know anybody out there. We barely know the city, you know, outside of me visiting there, um, you know, for my 25th birthday. But it was just a completely new, um, you know, like environment for us. So we were excited, but also like very nervous, um, you know, for like valid reasons for sure. Yeah, like with us, like actually coming here to like look for apartments and stuff like that made me feel a lot better. And then also too, I just kind of had a piece that like, you know, like this is where you guys are supposed to be in the season. Yeah, so... Um, us coming here in December was definitely like a good thing like I felt very like settled in my spirit and I was like okay cool like this feels like a good move like I'm excited I'm excited to like get out into the community um you know build community find friends here explore um I think that's probably one of the most things that I was like excited for to do here in LA so yeah that is why we moved here to LA in case y'all were wondering like okay this is kind of weird why don't they just kind of pack up and move moved here February 1st and so far y'all it has really been great like I honestly really cannot complain at all like a lot of my friends and stuff have been texting like have you guys been enjoying LA like how is it how is it and I was like oh let me turn my channel <laughs> so yes LA has been great so far like and literally y'all like everything has worked out for us like in every way honestly like we literally moved here with like no furniture no anything like 
I, in my suitcase, I, I packed our air mattress so that way we could like have somewhere to sleep on the first day. Um, and because of how tiring that first day was, like, I think we went to sleep that night, maybe at like one o'clock in the morning, had to get up at four o'clock in the morning to, you know, be at the airport on, on time and everything got um, off the plane, went directly to pick up our cars, went directly to the bank, went directly to the apartment from the apartment and getting our keys. I went directly to like Target and stuff to like get stuff so we can shower. And y'all, it was just such a long day. <laughs> like we literally moved nonstop. And our plan initially the first day was like to go out and get a bed and like do all these things. But y'all, <laughs> like we were so tired. And I was like, you know what? Like I got this air mattress. This is really what I brought it for. Like, let's just go ahead and sleep on this air mattress tonight. I'm actually going to go ahead and insert a clip because we have like our little air mattress out and our um, TV on the floor with our Wi-Fi and stuff hooked up. And I'm like, babe, like our first day in LA, like this is, you know, the beginning. Day one in LA and we're on the air mattress with our TV on the floor. But it's all going to be worth it. Another question that I've been getting is like, oh, which apartment did you guys choose like from the video? We actually ended up not choosing any of the apartments from the video. One pretty much for like safety reasons. And then um, another was really kind of based off like availability. Like we were kind of going back and forth on like, we knew we were going to be moving by like January, February, but we were going back and forth on like the exact date. Um, kind of had a lot to do with like Eli's job as well because um, they kept changing like the in office date um, and then like the new COVID variant came out and it was just kind of like a lot of different like variables that kind of like played into like when we're going to be moving and where we're going to be you know exactly which apartment we're going to be moving to so with that we definitely loved uh, you know pretty much a majority of the apartments that we toured um, but it kind of just all boiled down to like availability. What we ended up doing is, so one of the apartments that we toured, they actually have a sister property, which um, was not far from like the location that we toured. So pretty much like we were already kind of familiar with that area. And like I said, it was like their sister property. So it's pretty much like the exact same apartment, but just a different name and like, you know, a slightly different location. So we ended up going with the sister property. Um, which we were a little nervous about at first because like obviously we had not like actually toured the apartment I know for me personally I'm like Lord please let this apartment look like it's sister property and let it look like how it looks on the internet <laughs> so thankfully I will say y'all once we moved in like we did not get catfish or anything like this is exactly what I imagined and it looks literally just like um it's sister property so that was another thing too uh, that we dealt with when trying to like move here, but it all ended up working out. <laughs> we love our apartment now. Like the location is great. I feel like we picked a really good location, even with us like not really, you know, of course, like knowing the city. Um, and then overall, I guess for that first week, like y'all, it literally just felt like we were like on vacation. <laughs> like we ate out every day. Uh, also, like we didn't have like pots and pans and stuff. <laughs> But we ate out every day just because like we wanted to explore and like try, you know, like different restaurants and stuff around us. And then like it really wasn't until like the second week where it was like, okay, like we live here now. Like let's slow down. Like <laughs> let's start cooking and get groceries and stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, so the first week was really fun. Uh, really, I mean, it's been really fun overall so far. Um, but like it's really kind of started to set in like okay like we live here now so far y'all like things have really been great like our apartment is coming together slowly but surely and you guys will definitely see like in the next vlog like we have a couch now um and we also have a tv in the living room which is great of course there's just like small things that like we need to do or like we still have like a couple of boxes that we need to unbox once we get like shelving and like organizational items together and stuff um, but yeah, overall, like we are really enjoying like our time here in LA. Like, I don't, I won't say it feels like home yet, <laughs> um, but we're definitely like enjoying our time. Like, I think once we kind of get like the hang of like the city, and like once we get like community here and like friends and you know that kind of thing, like I definitely think we will um, fit in great. <laughs> yeah, I guess like our first month here in LA has been great. I'm trying to like learn the city. Um, the traffic has not been as bad here um, as like I expected initially because everyone says like, oh, LA traffic is the worst. I mean, also granted, like we don't really drive that much. So <laughs> I guess like we wouldn't necessarily know that much, but 
Uh, yeah, the traffic overall has not been bad. People here have been pretty friendly. Um, that was another thing that I was kind of nervous about. Like a lot of people were saying like, oh, people in LA are like snobby or like they act a certain way. And I'm sure, you know, those things probably are true. Um, I just have not come across those people yet. But so far, the people here have been really fun and like really like helpful and cool. Um, so that's been great. I'm trying to get used to these gas prices. <laughs> like that's why I kind of like our location because we're able to kind of like walk on um, places instead of like having to drive to like the grocery store, or, you know, like the places that you would go to on like a regular basis. So that has definitely helped a lot. But these gas prices are pretty crazy, guys. Like I don't know if I'll like ever really get used to paying like four or five dollars for gas a gallon at that and then another thing too like there's always something to do here um so like as y'all seen in like my last vlog and like i said in my last vlog as well like we literally moved here at the perfect time because we were able to experience the super bowl like i said in my last vlog too i have a cousin here so that was great to kind of like be around her and it's like at least we know like one person that's here in town of course um like she's you know kind of like helped us navigate like this new city going to the super bowl party was like really fun um just because like i said that was kind of like our first like intimate experience as far as like being able to like be around people and like talk to people like even when we went to like the um what was that it was like a live music night like that wasn't really of course we like talk to people but that was not like a setting where you could like intimately talk to people and like actually hear what they're saying and stuff the inglewood fest was fun that was great because to me like obviously y'all know atlanta is like very black you know <laughs> and with us like living here in la like la is very diverse like there's all different kinds of people here um but going, being able to go to the inglewood festival and like be in the community of inglewood it was like wow like i feel like i'm you know kind of back in atlanta like this is great like i love to see you know black people be black and just be surrounded by you know like my culture and everything so that was great as well yeah y'all i mean i think i pretty much did everything for my makeup i'm not sure but <laughs> I was like this is good enough to go uh, get some breakfast but um but yeah y'all so la has been great wedding planning is going great so far youtube is going great so far thanks to you guys um i'm really excited to um just continue to grow of course um really in all aspects like i said y'all like i look forward to engaging with you guys so definitely go ahead and comment below anything if you enjoyed this video if you want more videos like this uh whatever it may be but definitely like talk back to me y'all yeah. I definitely just want to go ahead and share like these life updates with you guys. Got my little makeup done, you know, quick little five step uh, makeup routine. But thank you guys so much for keeping up with Kiana. I appreciate all of you guys' support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!